Hey there friends, how's it going? Kevin here with a very weird simulator. Surprise, surprise. I have found basically a Breaking Bad simulator. It's kind of a business simulator where you get employees, you run your business, but in the background, you're running your empire of drugs. This game was way harder than I ever thought it would be, and also a lot more fun than I thought it would be, but it's much easier to show you. Stick around, because this one gets a bit weird. Yes, you could say that for all my videos, but let me show you the game. First order of business, install a chicken coop in the back of my fast food restaurant. Restaurant. I only just started on my restaurant and they're already getting me to build like a grow lab here or something But this is my attorney, so it must be solid advice. Okay, I just hired two employees for this place I gave one some gardening gloves and I'll give the other a deadly bat now with added nails <laughs> Welcome to your first job. I hope they don't ask me any difficult questions like why would I need the bat? I hired two more guards so with three people with baseball bats and nails just hanging around this little shack. It's not drawing attention at all, don't worry. It's just a baseball team I'm coaching. Okay, we're gonna buy the order hotline so people can buy over this radio tower. You are now a bona fide genuine drug exporter. Thank you, my attorney. Always appreciate your legal advice. Don't forget your employees will literally die for you if you don't look after them. I'm having a party tonight and need some stuff. I'm gonna assume it's drugs and not chicken. <laughs> this is a bit of a gamble, but yeah, I'm going with that. Poor guy was just trying to order some nuggies for his kid's party and I'm gonna arrive with a load of cannabis. Oh, so you're dealing dope now, are you? I knew I was right to fire you. Oh, this is the major. My competition. I'm sending a few of my boys around to clock you up. All right, well, good thing I doubled down on the security. Wait, they have guns? I only have bats and gardening gloves. Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. They even have uniforms. They look so much cooler than my guys. My person doesn't even have a head. Okay, he's really ruining the place. He's shooting up the whole- No, this guy is just wearing his gardening gloves. Hold on, let me give him a bat so at least he can fight back. Wait, I gave it to him and took it off him. Never mind. He's dead. Well, I'm not giving a payout to your families, just so we're all aware of that. They even graffitied my door. Well, this is a bad start to a business, isn't it? Well, you know what? I'll hire an engineer to fix everything and I'll just get more workers. Astronaut Jack. Good day, sir. Would you be willing to trade us some of your herbs? Are you sure that's safe if you're operating a rocket? Uh, I'm just gonna accept it. Oh no, I can't find my warehouse. It's not like I'd be on Google Maps. It's a secret after all. Ah, here we are. Okay, yeah, just fix around the dead bodies. Ignore the bodies for now. Oh, so I can dress them up. All right, we're going with Santa Claus outfits. You can be a lobster. That's pretty neat. No one would attack a lobster, right? Okay, you're taking over from three people with bats. Now we're gonna have one person with a bat. I have so much faith in you. You know, I think I've done this whole thing the wrong way around. Like, why did I start the drug empire before the front. I should definitely make another type of business. Okay, what business will I go for first? I, I'm thinking of the, the chicken shop. I know from uh, experience that that works because I watched Breaking Bad. Okay, I'll buy this big patch of land, which seems like a bad idea. It was just on impulse, but it's done now. I opened the business even though there's nothing here and now people are just wandering the plot. I just wanted to see if there were a chicken place, would people come? And it seems like they would. So I'll just close that again. Go home. Your use as guinea pigs is over. Okay, I really hope that's big enough because I don't have much money. I'm blasting through all of my cash. Oh, and the police are already coming. It's now a good time to mention that I have no idea how to run a restaurant. All I know is we raise our own chickens in the back. It's hygienic, I swear. Just don't ask any more questions. Okay, I have everything that I need in the kitchen. I have a customer bathroom, a staff bathroom. I accidentally deleted a chunk of the building and a staff room and I forced $49 left. <laughs> I have nowhere for people to sit. I should have thought more about the chair budget when I was indulging myself on the window budget. God, that is a weird looking building. Oh, Santa Claus is grouchy. What's wrong with you? Very hungry. Aren't you supposed to be jolly? Someone leave some cookies out for that man. Oh, one of them is deceased. <laughs> okay, it would make me pretty grumpy if my co-worker was dead in my place of employment like that. Especially the desperate pose they were in before they died. Oh, and there's another one there. Okay, so 50 50% of the staff that I hired died when I was looking the other way, which would explain why there is no income, but I won't be able to afford any employees, will I? 
Oh, I heard the cash noise and like, oh, I made some money, but no, I was losing money somehow. Having a party tonight needs some stuff. I'm gonna accept even though I, oh, another one of my employees died and I have no one to help you. I, uh, this is my only employee. I'm about to go in the negative. Let's hope I get a bank loan or something. Come on, my business is too big to fail. The community would be destroyed. I employee over zero workers and under two workers. The point is I'm contributing. Oh, look at that. I went into the minus. Ah, so this is where it says that all my employees have been dying. I just ignored that little bobble. I didn't really care about it. They starved to death. If only there was a really good chicken place around the corner. That's okay. I'll just sell all the stuff I bought at a loss. That's great. Oh, I also didn't buy doors into those bathrooms. Ah, well, I'll worry about that later. Okay, I can afford one employee. So if you could just attend the cash register and the kitchen, then we can get through this. Oh my god, he's gonna get hit by- He got hit by a car on his way to work. All right, look. Luckily, it didn't affect him. I wish I could say the same for me. Why does no one want fried chicken at 4.30 a.m.? I don't understand. Okay, it's turning into the boy cried chicken because now that I've actually opened a restaurant, no one's showing up. They don't believe me this time. <gasps> My first customer. Okay, go go help them. Uh, he wanted fries, which I had to sell to, to get this place open. I had the machines and everything, but I got rid of them. Uh, they all want stuff I don't sell. It's a chicken place. This person wants a motel or something. How come you don't know it's a chicken place? Is it the lack of branding? Is that what it is? <laughs> come on, someone wants chicken, right? Now everyone wants burger. Right, you know what? We'll get rid of the customer bathroom. Nobody likes having customer bathrooms anyway. It's off-putting for the general public. What do I need for burger? Uh, franchise level three, of course. So I couldn't even buy it if I wanted it. Oh, what did I just do? All right, I deleted the counter and now it's just a floating cash register. Maybe people will come see that for the spectacle. Somehow the soda dispenser is broken even though it's never been used. My one employee died, so I deleted half the restaurant so I'd have enough money to fund more of my drug trade, you know, my better business. I also installed a kitchen. The vending machine has to go in the kitchen, so that's technically a kitchen. And I got a lot more dispatchers. This chicken disguise doesn't really work because I don't have a chicken restaurant anymore but whatever and we've the dispatch map and i'm just gonna say fulfill this order look at him there we go go on buddy our empire rests on your shoulders through our hard work sorry i'm missing a y there through your hard work we will get through this if a cop sees this guy just stole from me i wasn't selling it at all oh god that's that's not hygienic please stop it <laughs> he's standing in it while he's eating i have weird employees maybe it'll work with defense maybe oh no i thought people might think they're the hulk but instead they just died. Could someone clean this up, please? Oh, and there goes the other one. Okay, there's no one left to clean up. What I meant to say earlier is I sold the entire restaurant to get money. I can't believe I wasted all that money and then just deleted it. This guy's not decomposing as fast. This is a problem. Is that a cop? Oh no, it's my new employee. Thank goodness. I got a cleaner. I figured it might be needed. I'm only allowing him to stock the mopeds at the moment. I need to get everything out of here. I need some income. Okay, you really need to speed up. I need those mopeds out of here. I'm accepting all of these orders, but I'm not fulfilling them. Luckily, I'm about to get my first proper big order done. Okay, I'm not getting a toilet because I've seen you're willing to go on the ground, but I got a shower so you can clean up afterwards. I have an interesting layout on my limited land. Once again, working with very limited space here, so don't make fun of my staff room. You know, at this rate, I might be able to actually afford a bathroom. It's gonna be again in a very weird spot, but I'm sure they won't mind. I mean, all my previous employees died, so anything is a step up really look at that optimized bathroom every square is used by something okay if you die now it's your own damn fault you hear me you're not going to get any sympathy from me not that you got any before but now it feels a bit justified yeah i know you're happy with your bloody smiley face popping over you but what about your job you need to repair this light oh maybe he's a bit stuck no he can get there all right <laughs> come on what am i paying you for this looks like an irish home that was built in the 1800s it's just kind of added on to it steadily just what Whatever I need. Like, need a bedroom? All right, it's going there where I happen to place it. Need a kitchen? Well, yeah, you got this. I hope that works. Something's beeping. Is that the everything's okay beep? What does that mean? I feel like everyone's working well now and no one can die, like, because of my fault. It only took about 10 employee deaths to set the place straight. Oh, I think I need more employees. All the product is gone. I really made this game, like, five times harder than it needed to be, didn't I? Is he dying? It's not my fault. Just putting that out there. Like, his hygiene is low. He has looked 
Don't use a hair dryer if you're all stinky. You're just blowing the stink around. Go use the shower. Yes, I know you need a shower. Go use the shower then. After all that, he doesn't even use it. He, he doesn't use it. What are their problems? Okay, I'm tidying this up a little bit just so I can get another delivery moped in. I just need to ship product way faster than what I'm currently doing. Okay, I left the game on for a while and just came back to check my dispatch map and kept them dispatching everywhere and I earned enough money for a laundromat license. I hope this goes better than my chicken business. I guarantee you they'll all come in looking for chicken. Like, oh, everyone in town's looking for chicken. This isn't a chicken place or whatever. I guess I'll go somewhere else. What? Oh no, that's just people aren't pulling over, right? I'm good? Okay, thank goodness. Yes, I'm getting customers at last. Somebody likes my business idea. I really need to find out how to upgrade my vehicles because they can only deliver one at a time and I have four of them out there doing their best, but it's not fast enough. Okay, steady little, what, three cent? What service did they use that we charged three cent for? Oh, I faced the bench the wrong way. Well, business isn't going great. I don't know what they were putting in there. Maybe they were just throwing their money inside the machines, thinking it's some weird self-service. I think I've broken this game beyond repair. Okay, I have started anew and I have unkevined everything. I have a big business set up, loads of mopeds, did it as efficiently as possible with all the doors, and I still have money left over. And plus, I don't think any of the staff are gonna die this time. <laughs> That's something I put on the job listing. And because I expanded so much, I should be able to hire a lot of workers this time. I never bought the order hotline. I'm like... $50 short. Okay, the coffee machine is temporarily going away. Never mind, that just deleted it instead of selling it. I don't know why that's an option, but let's not get too annoyed about it. Okay, all my little moped army is out and about. Oh no, I forgot about this attack. Goddamn chickens just breaking everything and destroying my life once again. My guys aren't even fighting back. They're decapitating all these innocent workers and I didn't even get insurance on them yet. They just go back to work. It's like, uh, whatever. Job's a job. I had to sell a part of my building to afford an engineer. Oh, someone just died of starvation. <laughs> yeah, just clean him up. Thank you. Okay, V3. This is the perfect plan. This time, I'm only gonna hire one employee so he gets brutally murdered. And then we can move on with our lives. Well, except for him. He's happy out. He doesn't know what's coming. And rather than try and sell it on the phone, I'm gonna try and make my own business. Look at this. A plot of land for 3,000. I'll take it. And I'm gonna try and sell marijuana here at my laundromat. Okay, that is a beautiful laundromat and I have storage for the drugs. That's a weird sentence. There we go. We got a full staff now at the laundromat so it won't fall apart this time. It did give me some solace when I looked up someone else's video for a bit of help and all of their people were dead. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm part of the problem. I'm not the entire problem. Oh no, I have no cash register. Okay, maybe I'm a bigger part of the problem than I'd like to admit. Okay, now you can check out. Please pay me. I'm gonna put in a little back door as well so they don't have to walk through the laundromat with all the drugs. Okay, I them all delivering to the laundromat. They must be so confused what is going on. Wow, what a nice looking building too. That's not mine. Th this one is mine. My one doesn't look that good, but it's nice to be near some nice buildings. Okay, good news, shoppers. We're now selling illegal narcotics as well as detergent. Oh, he was looking for a different type of illegal narcotic. I put in a back door, but yet he still brought the cannabis straight in through the laundromat. Yes, he asked for cannabis. Okay, how much money are we going to get? Yes, I was like 300 quid from one sale. This will be way better. But now the angry chicken man is going to send his chickens after me. It's kind of a dual job. You got to flip signs and take part in gang wars. Can I just put traps like underneath them so they'll be stuck? Yeah, that, that worked. Okay. And then that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're still kind of trashing the place. You know what? That's fine. Just get it over with, you bunch of chickens. Because I'll just replace the dead worker. I didn't want them anyway. I might send one just delivering to the university. That might be a good idea. And maybe another one to the scrapyard and just see how much money that gets me. Oh yeah, I have a dead employee as well. <laughs> Hopefully the cleaner will take care of that soon. He uh, died of old age. It was so random. But he did say that he died doing what he loved. Working for me. Oh no, my own cleaner is stuck in the trap. Okay, a bit of a workplace hazard. I'll get rid of these traps. I think I could actually buy more storage here. It might be a good shout because I, I think I'll make most of my money like this. Selling to the vulnerable locals. I wonder could I build a cross on this little patch? No? God, that's such wasted land. Oh no, wait, I'm just stupid. I should have known. Okay, I might be going overboard, but I really want this to work. How unsecure. There's just a door coming in off the main street. Imagine the stink. I've lost 
lost like $800 running this business overnight because my laundromat closes down. Okay, good. He asked for a different drug and my guy was like, no, what about cannabis though? And he was like, yep, that's great. They either go up to the counter and ask for detergent or ask for drugs. I think someone just complained that the place isn't decorated enough. So let me get something. I, I got this flamingo here. That's pretty neat. And I bought a few trees, but I, I can't really do much other than that. They won't let me put anything inside. Oh, they're waiting too long. There's not enough decoration and it's too hot. Good Lord, you have a lot of problems with this laundromat, don't you? There, we got a little aircon unit. I hope that helps with that. I'm actually making money. Look at this. I've earned like 1,200 since we opened. Usually my money is going the other way. How's the factory doing? We're doing all right, I think. Everyone's settling in. How's this going? Pretty good. Yep, everything's going according to plan. And how's the stock looking? Actually, we're selling out. Maybe I should bring more here. Okay, I have nine points. Whatever that is for, I don't know. Oh, delivered. I got three points for each excellent one delivered. But to where? Oh, the scrapyard. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. I'll just leave one delivering to the scrapyard then. So this is what I want. I want the car garage rather than having the mopeds because they're great and all, but no, that's a lie. They're awful. You can see what's making the money. This line is the marijuana and this is all the other services we offer. <laughs> Cleaner all business hours, all products available, marketing business on billboards. Huh. I don't know if that's even possible right now. Billboards are 20,000? Okay, I definitely can't afford that. Oh, this is so nice. I've just been arranging their schedules, which I hate, but I've just been earning money while I'm doing it. This is so unusual. I usually have to try so hard to gain anything, and then it just screws me over anyway. Okay, now I have someone here at all hours, usually two people available on the schedule, so I can always accept the deliveries. We've gone up to a three-star laundromat. I don't even know how. Okay, I'm feeling a bit wild. I'm gonna even add windows now. Look at that. People will love that. And the drugs, hopefully. Mainly the drugs, probably, is what they'll come here for. This area looks like the Takeshi's Castle maze game. Sometimes the doors are just going nuts. I'm gonna save it because I actually can't believe this is going so well. Candy? Product contaminated. Yes. What? <laughs> Why is it just left there? All right, I'll just leave it there, I guess. It, it can live by the five-day rule. We'll pick it up at some stage and eat it. There we go. So even though the business is closed, this guy's just hanging around to accept deliveries. Oh no, the machines are on fire. What's going on? Where's my engineer? Finally, he came in. He was saying looking for work for ages and it's like, you don't need to look for it. It's right there. So I need a cleaner all business hours, but I don't know what my business hours are. I'll just hire another cleaner and try and mix up the schedules a bit. Perhaps I could even make another schedule. <laughs> yes, I have a four star laundromat now. And all it took was abusing my employees. Oh, so the other leaves are different types of weed, I guess. And the middle one is meth. <laughs> I might go into the meth business soon enough. Getting new top of the line units here. These are fast drying and washing models. Yeah, we're a four star laundromat. What can I say? Oh no, the machines are looking poorly. Where's my engineer? <laughs> we may be four star, but we're clinging on by a thread. <laughs> All of these machines are in awful condition. We're halfway to a car. Excellent. And then I can start giving it to the university so I can make better cannabis. In fact, these are actually pretty cheap. That will be very useful. Okay, so I can unlock the car, which I desperately need. Does that just upgrade or do I have to spend money? Of course I have to spend money. What am I saying? This game wouldn't be that nice. Six fifty and a hundred per day. I'll just sell this bike with the person as well. We sell people now. There we go. Okay, now they're just kind of waiting for plants, which is great because th this was the bottleneck before. But now maybe I should buy some extra land. You know what? I'm going to save first because everything in this game terrifies me. For 11,000? Yeah, I can afford that. I don't really need the driveway space anymore. I have cars. And we're going to double the size of this room. And I'll get two more workers. I've been sending shipments to the university, you know, just helping out the local youth and their education. And I have enough to buy the different types of cannabis plants. So let's go with that. Oh no, the temperatures need to be different. Oh no. Okay, pause. I need to figure this out. Well, these only care about light. So I guess I could put the other ones in and try and accommodate for the most demanding one. Yeah, and then they'd all be okay. All right, let's try that. So we need the temperature between 70 and 100. I'm assuming that's Celsius and it'll kill all my employees. Okay, the aircon gives it like a minus 25. I'm guessing it's on zero by default. Okay, I got a little heater. Is that gonna help? Oh no, it's gone down worse. Oh no, I've ran out of money spending it all on heaters and they're gonna cost a fortune to run. Okay, they're all covered by light as well. They should be good now. Okay, I'm gonna press play, but I'm a little bit scared of what's to come. I'm hoping productivity will increase a lot though now that we've more employees. That should help in itself quite a bit. 
right. Oh, I've gone into the minus again. I didn't think I'd see that for a while. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. The laundromat is earning some legit money and there are some supplies there whenever some people come in that want something a little extra. Like this man. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Uh, clean clothes, that is. It's great. Oh, I might need another bathroom for the employees. They're struggling. Oh, I need to assign employees to do the stuff. That's right. I was wondering why they weren't planting. I thought I had done something wrong. Well, I had, but I thought I did something worse. I'm so curious what this is going to sell for. I hope it's a lot. Oh, I got these auto cutters now. They're doing great. This is going to speed things up as well. I just need this moving as fast as I can. This was also done with research from the university. It takes top minds to come up with something like this. Oh, we're about to sell our first little batch. How much are we getting? 337, but I wanted way more than that. I guess because it was two star. I'm gonna have to work on that. Okay, it looks like it degrades over time, so we're gonna have to deal with it quicker. I wonder if it's because they're drying in an area that's not hot. That could be the problem. Oh my god, the stocks. I need more customers. I'm gonna try and save for this better drying. Oh, I got it. That was good timing. Okay. Okay, so we have three star and two star. All right, what the hell? Well, if I'm selling them for about the same price, the normal stuff is worth less given to the local businesses. So maybe I could give the toasted stuff to the local businesses to get rewards faster. Okay, the temperature is keeping it three star now. So I just got to keep it on heat all the time, which means if I can move that forward, I can sneak in some heaters there. But then what about in here? Is it going to degrade when it's being boxed? Please don't. Okay. All right. I think every future shipment is going to be three star, but we may as will blast through the two stairs and get rid of it before we start selling it in the laundromat. Speaking of which, how are you doing, laundromat? Overstocked. All right, no worries. Well, I'm well on my way to getting the meth starter pack. <laughs> okay, time to sell the little moped. I don't think I need them anymore. I need to be shipping product faster. I just didn't know people loved laundry this much, okay? I don't know where this moped driver has gone. He's completely disappeared. Ah, oh, you came back. You must have known I wanted to sell you, didn't you? Here we go. My first meth starter station. It sounds like a horrible toy for young children. Okay, I need about 10 grand to actually get into meth. This sucks. Who knew it had such a high barrier to entry? Okay, I'm gonna redirect the basic stuff to the university, and I'm gonna try and sell the good stuff now. I've actually redirected some of it to the scrapyard, because then we can get better heaters. And on top of that, the students don't really have much to offer me anymore. Oh, here we go. Here's one of the big sales coming through. So how much does this earn us? Oof, that's not bad. Yeah, the money's kind of flying in now again. That's good. That's very good news. I was getting a little bit concerned. Large heater. Perfect. Okay, time to put the me in meth. I really hope this doesn't, like, explode or anything. <laughs> I need another 6,000 to get started in the meth business. And what business works well with meth, I wonder? <laughs> the chicken shop, my old arch nemesis. I could open a donut shop as well for more cannabis sales. That might be good. Let's see how much the land costs. 3,000 for a donut business. 7,000 for a chicken. Oh, 5,000. That's not bad. I just have far too much is the problem. I can't offload this much product. Okay, that's put it up to three star cloudy meth. You'll love to see it. I'm saying a lot of unusual sentences today. Why does it say all my product is contaminated? <laughs> okay, it seems to be easy enough to upsell them. So I don't... Oh, wait, no. They still pay the lower? Unless that was lower quality, maybe? That could have been the case. But it seems like they'll take the better cannabis if I don't have the bottom rung one, which means I can probably stop stocking it. I've also been selling to the local gun store in case I get a visit from Chicken Man. He's a major, a major pain in my ass. I'm going to risk it and open up a donut shop, I think. I'm going to try and offload all of this cannabis and that'll get me into the meth empire. I'm thinking I should also buy the monument because it would be a little bit of extra money in the meantime. It's five grand, but surely it'll make that back. Okay, I got the monument. I'm nearly out of cash again, but I'm exporting excellent basic and toasted now. So that's that should give me a lot of cash once those calls start coming in. Any second now. Yep. Yeah. It'll come flooding in. Wow. Oh wait, was it off? I, I think I think it's on now. Yeah, yay, here we go. <laughs> I don't think I even want to really deal with the basic stuff anymore though. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Or maybe I'll keep it and then later stock it. I don't know, it seems like a shame to delete it, especially when I'm minus money. <laughs> okay, I've raised 33,000. I'm ready to build my donut shop. I love how I have to buy a franchise license for it. Like I can't do this under my own brand. It has to be a franchise. Wait. I can unlock stuff, right? Uh, could I do that for the laundry mat? Oh, 
I purchased them all, apparently. I don't remember doing that at all. Wait, where did all my drugs go? This doesn't feel right. I usually have loads of drugs. Guys, where are the drugs at? Oh, I don't think there's enough storage. Okay, well, that's a problem. No, you fools, don't put the same stuff on that shelf. That was the whole reason we were in trouble. So I'm guessing I have none of the cars. No, I do have a car shifting the bad stuff. Oh, but no one's probably buying it, right? God, once the flow of drugs stopped, my laundromat immediately started hemorrhaging money. That's not a good sign. I thought I was just really good at laundry. I'm honestly pretty psyched about this. Uh, I almost called it a burger place, donut place. I'm really excited about it. I think I actually fit in everything perfectly. That's a surprise. Just enough space for the door. Okay, let's open for business. I think we're ready to go. I just hired people and we're like, yeah, just do, do jobs. I don't know. I didn't assign them anything. Oh, I can unlock the truck now as well. Awesome. How quickly I abandoned my trusted drivers. I think I hired too many employees. <laughs> There's so many of them coming out. Their workplace is essentially an episode of Scooby-Doo. They're just running all over the place. No one wants any donuts from me. <laughs> Occasionally someone's coming in buying drugs though, so it's okay. Okay, the laundromat is flying again. It's getting loads of cash. In comparison, the donut shop is looking a bit sad. Even the lot it's on, it's so far back from the sidewalk. Oh no, I deleted the door with everyone inside. Well, that's one way to keep business. This will make it look fancy. Now everyone will be coming here for donuts. And here's a big donut sign. Yeah, now everyone's coming in. I, I don't know if that's actually working. Oh, and I can paint that. Wow, that looks great now. I'm putting in grass and I'm kind of regretting it. It looks a bit dead. Although I guess anything's an improvement. I can dress it up a little bit. Oh, we don't have a toilet. That's why we're a zero star. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Okay, you do have to go outside through the grass to get to it, but it is there. There. We're officially one star. Oh, I was going to complain that the staff were using the customer ones, but I didn't put a door into the staff one, so I guess I don't have any right to complain, do I? Everyone hates my donut shop. No one is coming in. This is so sad. This is nothing like the laundry business. Although I guess it is pretty early at 7 a.m., so let's give it a chance. This looks like such a front, which it is. It is a front for my drug business, but everyone who orders, I just tell them to go away unless it's an unglazed place. Plain donut. But I'm only in it for the drugs anyway. Does it even matter? Okay, I've realized that I've built this in an absolutely horrible way that I just can't expand. I'm just gonna stick on a chunk on that side. Oh no, I sold a bit of the... Ah... Okay, I think I've got it set up now. Once I move this table, it's just landed there. Okay, there. I think we're good. Okay, now we're a two-star restaurant. And now a three-star restaurant. All products available? I thought I did have all products available. Okay, now we're motoring. We're getting a lot of cash now. It's so inconvenient because they have to walk all the way around to get them what's on the shelf. <laughs> I've placed this one the wrong way. Ah, I was missing chocolate stuff. That's it. This kitchen is just bored line dangerous. There's just stuff everywhere as I figure out how donuts are made. I'm gonna give a few of them shotguns because I want to leave them alone for a while and fend for themselves. And I figure if they've sawn offs, they'll be more prepared for anything that might come their way. Uh, someone died outside and I don't know were they an employee or a customer. Well, I've proven I've ran a business that can run itself. It's got 461,000 and about three frames per second. I don't know why it's so laggy in that donut shop, but it's safe to say I have enough money to open a chicken shop now and get into meth. I'm gonna have the best chicken restaurant you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm buying everything. They're gonna be able to do anything the customers want. Why did I just get an achievement boom? It said make a machine explode. What exploded? All right, I'm just gonna ignore it and pretend I didn't see that. Oh no, I see it. How? The place hasn't even opened yet. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's like fate just doesn't want me to have a chicken restaurant and I don't understand why. Anyway, I have no idea what to do for this. So I guess I'll just keep building and hope for the best. This doesn't seem like the best so far. Yeah, I hired an engineer hoping he'd put it out, but now he's on fire and I think he's happy about it for some reason. I got an achievement now saying this is fine as he crumbles to the floor dead. Uh, does anyone know how to put this out? <laughs> Perhaps if I hire more engineers, they'll come in and fix it. Yep, every time I hire engineers, they just run into the fire and kill themselves. Well, I'll just let you uh, literally burn yourself out. I have meth to make. I think the person I put in charge of the meth is dying from the fumes. <laughs> yeah, they're dying all right, but they are committed to their job. <laughs> they're just really passionate about meth. And there they go. Okay, I think this should get the top toxins out of the air. Ignore that previous employee. 
he was stupid. That won't happen to you. He's just working over the body of his dead twin. What are you doing with this? You're not allowed to put this here. I just said you can't. Okay, now they have two stations to make it, so they should be able to pump out a lot. Oh, now there are too many fumes, though. They're dying again. They're dying. There we go. That should keep them alive, and I'll just trust that'll work and go away now. Yes, the fire did sort itself out. Thank goodness. Look at all my employees. They're just showering together because they don't know what else to do. I'll hire another engineer. Hopefully this one won't die. I'm up to a three star and we haven't even opened our doors yet. <laughs> Oh, wait. Hold on. Why is that? Why is that going to explode? I don't understand. Why does it start counting down when I place it? Oh, it needs to be temperatured. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Put it back in the box. I'll figure something out. Okay. It's safe now. But uh, the good news is I now know how to make a bomb. Okay. They are loading up the meth, which is contaminated. But who cares? I forgot to feed the staff. They're all just running to the vending machines now so they don't die. The death rate is horrible in this place for a place that just opened its doors. I'm going to buy the billboards. No, not for the laundromat. Oh. Oh, wait, I can change it. Okay, good. There we go. Our first delivery of meth. Yes, the stock room is filling. <gasps> We're getting customers. Okay, excellent. Yeah, we do fries because we are we are a restaurant. <gasps> this person wants meth. Our second customer is like, yeah, I'll take the meth to go, please. I guess we just have it up on the menu. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm running for mayor pledging to wipe scum like you from the city. Look, you got elected. Okay, that seemed a bit rigged. My first order of business, a raid on your chicken factory. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's just uh, think this out, shall we? Oh, God, there's a lot. Okay, arm all of my men with shotguns. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh my lord, they're slaughtering my men in a slideshow presentation by the looks of it. Okay, shooting the cannabis seems a little weird. I just hired another 10 guards on the spot, but they didn't realize we're in an act of war. I can't believe it. You try and make an honest business and the mayor runs you out of town. Just because my meth factory was doing really well, I guess me, the anti-hero, wasn't meant to have a happy ending. Ah well, time for plan B, insurance fraud. There we go. Oh, now that's what I call a happy ending. <laughs> As all my staff and customers burned to death. Well, I'm not sure what we accomplished here today, but I know one thing's for sure, and that's my business is breaking bad. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out more of my content here on screen. Subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.